Welcome to TT Score, TT's trade surveillance and compliance tool that uses pattern recognition based on machine learning to identify trading behaviors that pose the greatest regulatory risk to your firm. TT Score is integrated with the TT platform, so you can simply enable TT Score to instantly access your firm's trading data and conduct reviews for problematic behavior. Using TT Score's suite of data visualizations, you can prioritize your review workflow, conduct reviews of activity from a variety of perspectives, and record your dispositions. In this video, we will demonstrate how to access our data within TT Score. We'll also review trading activity using TT Score's data visualizations. We can access our data from the TT Score dashboard, where we see our filter buttons for each model or problematic trading pattern, as well as a list of open investigations. We can click one of these buttons to filter our trading data by an individual model or create our own custom filter. For this example, we'll select the model spoofing. In our data selection panel, we can select the dates we would like to review using our date picker. In addition to filtering by model, we can also filter by product type. We can then click Apply Filter. We are presented with a view of trading activity which TT Score has organized into a list of clusters. TT Score groups our selected data into clusters, or segments of sequential traded activity likely related to a specific action or series of actions by the trader. Each model uses its own algorithm for clustering trading activity. As you can see, we have a very large set of data to review. To help with this, we can filter by trader, account, and instrument. TT Score also provides a number of data visualizations, or views, to help us analyze trading activity at various levels of granularity. We can use cluster group views, which group clusters a number of different ways to help us identify concentrations of problematic trading activity. Once we identify a group of clusters that requires further review, we can use the cluster list to view a list of individual clusters in that group. From this list, we can use the cluster scorecard to review the individual clusters themselves. TT Score provides three data visualizations for analyzing cluster groups, the outlier chart, the heat map, and the daily cluster group views. Let's start with the outlier chart. The outlier chart groups clusters by trader, account, or instrument, and plots these cluster groups on a chart, with groups containing more clusters plotted further along the x-axis, and groups with a higher percentage of high-risk scores plotted further up the y-axis. As you can see, our dataset contains an abundance of low-risk clusters. To focus our attention on higher-risk groups, we can use our score range slider to remove clusters that score below 50. The groups are color-coded to indicate the percentage of high-risk scores. Groups with higher percentages display dark red, transitioning to yellow, and finally green as the percentage moves lower. Generally speaking, the higher up and to the right a cluster group appears on the outlier chart, the more likely it is to require additional review. The outlier threshold slider allows us to adjust the high-risk threshold used to calculate the high-risk percentage of each group in the outlier chart. Clicking on a cluster group in the outlier chart will bring up the cluster list view pre-filtered to show us clusters contained in that group. Another method for reviewing cluster groups is by using the heat map. The heat map displays cluster groups as a collection of blocks. The more clusters contained in the group, the larger the block. The blocks are color-coded according to the average risk score of all of the clusters contained using a similar color scale as the outlier chart, with green indicating the lowest average risk scores, transitioning to yellow, and finally red for higher average risk scores. Clicking on a cluster group will again bring up a cluster list pre-filtered to display the individual clusters in that group. The final way of identifying cluster groups for review is the daily cluster view. The daily cluster view automatically groups the clusters by date, trader, instrument, and model, and then calculates the percentage of high-risk clusters. When reviewing the daily cluster view, it is helpful to consider both the total number of clusters as well as the max score. Though a group may consist of mostly lower scoring clusters, they may still contain problematic clusters. We can click View Clusters to view a list of clusters within that group. The cluster list lets us see a list of individual clusters. These clusters are similarly color-coded by risk score, with more severe scores displaying in red, moving towards green as the scores decrease. Using the cluster list, we can identify individual clusters that require review. Once we've identified a cluster that we want to review, we click Inspect to view its details using the cluster scorecard. The cluster scorecard provides a statistical summary of the cluster, as well as a visualization of the order and fill activity that comprise our cluster. In the top row, we have both general statistics about the cluster, as well as model-specific metrics, which in this example are displaying metrics related to spoofing. We have our spoofing graph displayed below, as well as the audit trail for the cluster. Expanding a row in the audit trail would display the total order history for that order ID. Using our chart, 
we can analyze the spoofing activity in this cluster. We see the thin blue line indicating where the trader entered their buy orders into the market. We then see the red area that indicate where their sell orders were filled. We then see them cancel their resting bids. Next, we see the traders submit sell orders into the market. Their buy orders get filled, after which they cancel all of their sell orders. We can view this activity in the context of the market at the time using the cluster scorecard's market replay tools. The latter replay loads up an empty trader, which will allow us to view a frame-by-frame -frame replay of the market to more closely examine a trader's order activity in the context of market conditions at the time. When we press play, we see the playhead on the chart, which corresponds to the playback of the market on the ladder. Items in the audit trail populate as they occur. We can also review the trading activity contained within a cluster using the macro view. The macro view displays the liquidity at 10 levels above and 10 levels below the market. We see how the available liquidity at each price level changed over time as the thickness of the colored bands change as we move from left to right. We can also see how the price changes by noting where the light blue resting bids are in relation to the pink resting offers. The macro view overlays the trader's working buy quantity and working sell quantities with a display of the available liquidity in the market at the time. Buy order executions are displayed as a black triangle and sell order executions are displayed as a black circle. As you can see, TT Score is a powerful tool for viewing trading activity at multiple levels of granularity and from multiple perspectives. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.